Hey yo guys, what is going on? I'm back, guys. Uh, I don't know what to tell you, it's been a crazy year. Um, as negative as I could have made this video, I thought, let me start with positive at least, you know? Okay. Just like a normal jam. Oh, I don't do needles, that's the thing. Oh. Mm, did it hurt or anything? <laughs> I'm pretty tough with this sort of thing. Yeah, yeah no, I, I don't do needles. Beginning, but yeah, you see how scared my brother is of needles. You just hear him like, in that clip, I don't do needles. He really doesn't do needles, guys. So that is really funny. Like, keep watching, and there'll be a few funny moments, few emotional moments along the way in this video because that's what this year has been. If you didn't catch COVID, it affected you in some way, mentally or your freedom or, you know, like me, my freedom in some way it affected that a lot. Your, your confidence of normal life, that your understanding of normal life for anyone. First bit is uh, the first first clip you saw was me back in December 2020, really down and out and just glad, but glad that that 2020 was over. Looking forward to the year the year that we just had, which I shouldn't have because, yeah, I was like, oh, it's going to be better for sure. It can't get worse. What did it do? It got worse um, from the outside, you know. A lot of things been good in my life. Uh, a lot of things to be grateful for. Just think about that, like, whenever you're there, New Year's Eve, well, well we've probably done it. By the time you've seen this, it's been and gone New Year's Eve and Christmas. And just those moments that you, you got to make the most of even more than normal because... They're so important because you never know, you know, um, especially the years we've had as a, as, as a planet. Um, yeah, so the whole planet is trying to kill us. Every, everything is trying to kill us, basically. What's new? Um, you know, and here we are. Um, I'm not going to get political about it. I mean, it's too much. I'm just fed up, literally fed up of hearing about it. But yeah, this is it. Finally. It's been a year of, like, not being able to do anything normal n n for none of us, but more so for me, being in that vulnerable category. But I hate using that word, because it really doesn't describe me as a person. Um, but this vaccine just gives everyone that hope, you know, that things will get better. Um, yeah, it's a vaccine, it's not a cure. Uh, don't get it mixed up, and nothing is guaranteed, doesn't mean you... you you're immune completely. We don't know, but it is a good sign. It's just having faith, you know, in yourself. Um, that's probably what's kept me in YouTube this last year because I could have easily just said, nope, I'm quitting. And yeah, I haven't made many, many videos recently. I'm out of practice, I'll be honest. But I just have faith that I can get back to it. Back to making videos like I did before. Um, yeah, things will never be the same. They'll be different. But some things maybe for the better. We will see, guys. Oh my god, I remember being that positive. That was like, was that like March or February? But yeah, I was that positive at the time. I am a positive person, but the last two years would change any of you and has changed all of us, as you probably realise, even when you go out, like you just feel different. You don't feel the same, like, just feel weird. Everything feels weird. I don't know. There's more. I felt more worried, definitely, and then there's. Do you mind? What a I'm not going mad. I'm talking to my fans, my two fans. <laughs> yeah, so I've completely forgotten what I was saying. Thanks, bro. Locked down all the time. Might as well be a holiday, but being locked down is not a holiday. Being stuck with your own thoughts, not always good ones. <laughs> you know what I mean? Positive as I am, there's days. We all had days this year where we were like, forget all this, who cares? And then after a while, I was just like, no, I'm done with this. I want my life back. But yeah, vaccine two coming up soon. I'll let you know if any of my limbs grow 
or extra limbs or any of them fall off, we'll see. And then it comes down to the mental health side of it that um, has affected a lot of people. Someone I know very closely, um, for those of you who know me, you know who I mean. I talk about mental health. For those of you who don't know me, it doesn't matter. Mind your business. Um, but yeah, so I've witnessed that firsthand. And that, when that happens, see someone go through mental health struggles, you realise, okay, COVID doesn't really matter. It do, I mean, like, you know what I mean? Like, I'm no longer scared of COVID. I no longer care what that does to me because someone I know uh, and know closely and respect and see as an example of someone that is so positive and, like, has joy in their life. Someone completely go the opposite. It just, it throws you off and you realise that COVID don't matter. There's more important things going on right here, right now, uh, to deal with that are more key to your, I don't know, key to that person's future and your own future. Like, it, it taught me a lot of lessons. And that was, that happened in October 2020. And here we are, well, yeah, in a new year. And it's been a long year where that person has had to deal with that and we've had to deal with it. Um, knowing them, you know. Uh, yeah, um, it's been difficult. I don't want to get into too many, many details, but that has educated me a lot. Like, I never knew a lot about mental health before this. Then I started researching it and looking into it and what causes it and things. You know, it's quite natural to have certain anxieties about life. It's like a, an instinct that a lot of animals have to see danger and feel the need to run from it. But you can't run away from your taxes. You can't run away from lockdown. You can't run away from COVID, really. It's all there. And it led to a lot of people having mental health breakdowns. If they, you know, a lot of people were going through it before. It was there before, but people didn't really pay attention to it. Now they do. Now I definitely do. And it's been a difficult year to see someone go through that. But here we are. And on a lighter note, I'm going to show you some gaming clips from the year, from my live streams I've done with the Fortnite squad and on FIFA and a few other games, Minecraft. Um, so if you're part of that gaming squad, thank you, Shay. Thank you, Charlie. Thank you, Jack. Yeah. Yes. Let's go on the stream. On stream. Got that dub. That was nice. That was nice to done. That was pretty good job. Alright, well, guys, we've got the PS5 set up. Look at that. We've got a lot of games to download. But we're almost there, guys. Not too long. Yes! Oh, Zaniolo, my guy! That wonderful head of hair. <laughs> That's quite cool. No, uh, I just want to look into your eyes! <laughs> I keep doing that and everyone's like, fuck it. My mum's like, you're crazy. <laughs> so I keep singing it. Wrong. <laughs> that is a that is a witch's cackle right there. Talk about my laugh, come on. That's a witch's cackle, yep. <laughs> Literally has an Irish accent like he's Hello there. <laughs> Potatoes! <laughs> <laughs> Charlie! <sake>. Charlie! <laughs> Why are you ready? I don't know. <laughs> uh. <laughs> oh, wait, can you do one where it's like Shay's uncle's telling him off? I'm like, wait, go on. No. I'm, I'm, I'm <laughs> laughing, oh, I can't. Not. I have to get the laughs out. <laughs> Fuck. Oh no! Me. We're hugging, don't kill us! Someone keeps throwing knives. Right, I'm about it. Mark Jack. 
Yes. I'll leave you if you want. Yeah, leave then. Leave then, bitch. I will then. Good, leave then. Promote someone and then leave. Promote someone and then leave. Promote someone and then leave. Jack. Promote. What? Oh my god. Oh my god. And a rage quit on stream! Proper horse. Sheepy. Hey, yeah, sheepy! Why are you spinning away? Why won't you look at me? Look at me! Look, look at me! He's Unleash. Oh my god, guys. We had too much fun. So much fun on online streaming. Uh, those videos just... Oh my god, some of the best moments this year. Despite all the things, I still found a way. Uh, I hope you did too. But yeah, the laughs are just unbelievable. And like, we're the most odd bunch. Like, who would have thought... People of such, such different age ranges, you know, uh, a 28-year-old, a 14-year-old, a, a fellow 28-year-old and a 19-year-old would all become best mates on a game where you just run around in a cartoon character uh, on some weird island shooting each other. So thanks to all of them. Okay, we're approaching the end of the video. But I just want to talk a bit about my trip to Italy that the year before I couldn't do because of COVID. 2020, we couldn't go to Italy, which is part of my summer every year. And we we're lucky enough to go in the, in the summer. Um, but before that, there was a little trip to the Isle of Wight, um, an island in the channel, basically, like in between... Well, you could say it's in between England and France, basically. And we went there for a little weekend trip. That was like just in case we weren't able to go to Italy. And then, yeah, once that was done, a few weeks later, we literally got in a car and drove to Italy. We were undecided about getting up in a plane or driving to Italy. We drove in the end. And there's some lo lovely images I want to show you um, after this in the next clip of the way, you know, the journey we took through the Alps. Amazing. Done it many times, but this year I valued it so much more, um, made the most of it so much more because... You never know, you know, what's going to happen in the next year. Vlogs all about my trip to Italy over August. Anyway, enjoy and I'll see you real soon. Peace. Oh my God, look how full this van is. The final hundred hey, to Canosa, way down in the south of Italy. Um, we finally made it three days. What a journey it was. Let's just say driving there is more fun than coming back. Um, as you'll find out. Um, but yeah, enjoy the rest of the vlogs. Say hello. Salve. So, guys, here we are meeting the Ultra Sport Pagia football team in Italy. This is amazing. Questo momento perché dovete sapere che è un momento da noi tanto atteso. E in 
inizio con la presentazione. Io anzi... Got a chance to meet an Italian Padre football team um, who were, were literally 20 minutes down the road from where we live in the south of Italy. Um, ironically, like I, I never knew they were there. I never knew they were that local to me. And I went to meet the whole team, the coaching staff, all the people involved, the parents. And I'm just a player from England, like a normal player who happens to be Italian and that was the connection to this club and I got to meet them while I was so grateful and it made me feel, I don't know, I, I never like, I don't know, I had to put into words like, that, the, the feeling was like, I don't deserve this, why, why me, I really don't deserve all this attention and I'm not good with attention either, I'm pretty shy, well not as shy as I used to be but yeah I'm not good with it and like, they were there to see me, like, what the hell? We are watching the sunrise yet again. After. Well, that's what we call it. Then, yeah. That was a great day. Fast forward a few weeks through the holiday. Well, fast forward a few days. And I take a trip to a town in the mountains where the rest of the family live, because both sides of my family are from Italy. So, a little town. 600 meters above sea level where I've got some of the best friends in the world um, credit to all of them it's coming Rome it's coming to Rome yeah 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 <laughs> One of my best friends actually, she was in, in the UK before the pandemic, had to go back and they didn't see her till the summer. Um, so that was like great. And yeah, that, that was amazing. And I was grateful that she came back to the UK uh, recently or before Christmas anyway. And we spent a lot of time together, had fun, got drunk, ate food, you know, the usual. But anyway, this trip to Italy, this this part of it, the few days in this little town, just make my year, literally. I know you shouldn't focus on, like, a holiday and go, oh, this is the best thing of my year, and focus around that and only live for that. You shouldn't. Literally pulling all nighters, seeing the sunrise is, is inspirational, and I needed it more than ever after the, the the year we've had, the two years, and I just wanted to make the most of every moment. And hopefully the vlogs captured it. Whether they did, I don't really know. And then fast forward a few more days to my birthday in a different town where my dad's family is from, um, just to confuse everyone. Quattro. I had my birthday, my 28th, and it was surreal. I was a bit ill by then, like, not COVID, but like, I think I had a cold. I had a cold coming on, definitely. Um, I was... I was pretty drunk, I had a good time. Um, with a lot of friends of my cousins and stuff. Um, some people I'd never met, some people I knew really well, it was just random. 
but I enjoyed it. In September, when we were back here, I ended up in hospital for a bit. I had like bronchitis or something. And yeah, I've talked about that before. That was bloody scary and traumatic. Did not want to be anywhere near a hospital after, you know, after hearing of all the, all the, all the, the viruses and everything. Um, and that was September this year, 2021. Well, I don't even know what year we're in now. Um, but yeah. Well, when you're watching this, it'll be 2022. But anyway, that's been my year, really. It's been up and down and everywhere in between, really. The next few clips are all about Padre football and how we made a return to Padre football. Season started up again after being stopped for the whole pandemic um, for a good a, a good few months. Like, well, we we stopped playing in like March, February, twenty twenty. Didn't play. Well, you'll see it in the video anyway. Didn't play for a while, and then this year we got made a comeback, which is pretty cool, exciting. I got a goal as well. You'll see that in the clip, and that goal just literally all the stress, all the anxiety just let go in that moment, like the celebration. You can hear me screaming my head off, and then I go and crash into my mate's chair, and like, yeah, he didn't appreciate that after. And yeah, guys, I'm back, back to Pau Jeff football, finally, because of the pandemic, we haven't played competitive matches for a long time, close to two years, well, since, like, March 2020. And that is it for this video, guys. I want to wish you all a very happy new year, or try to. We'll see what happens, and I'll be along for the ride with you guys. That is it for me. Take it easy guys, peace. Gonna do, cause the only thing I want for Christmas is me and you.